Why did we wait two years to buy our shade for our awning? Well, we used to be full-time travelers, which meant we moved every week to two weeks. And we thought, not knowing any better, that it would be a big hassle to unzip it, zip it, set it up. And we are gonna show you that it is so easy. Yeah, it's easy to install and really easy to use. Why did we finally get this? Well, we were parked for months, you know, near the hospital where I was getting treatment and we finally decided this is a good time to get when we saw another RV that had it. We're like, yeah, why don't we have one of those? It's crazy. And we were in one of those RV parks that we call parking lots where there was no shade and the awning gives some shade, but believe me, this makes a world of difference. Now we're going to go into the five reasons why we bought the Easy Zip Blocker by Carefree of Colorado. Number one is shade. Like we said before, the awning gives you some shade, but the, when the sun comes down, this blocks more of the shade. So not only are you cooler under here, but it cools off the RV. So you're not using as much AC to cool off your RV and that makes a big difference because we're paying for power right now. You'd really be surprised how much this actually does reduce, like especially a strong Florida sun coming in. It makes it so that you can actually sit in here and enjoy your little patio space. Yes. The easy blocker really helps give you a little bit of privacy. A lot of times we're in campgrounds where the next RV is like a couple of feet this way. What it gives us a little bit of privacy with the darkness and it also helps define our space, our little patio area from our neighbors. What is great about having this blocker attached to your awning and tied down with bungee cords is we've had some serious, serious winds where we normally would yank that awning in, but we have actually left everything attached because the screen and the bungee cord tie it down so well that the awning only moves a little bit. So I feel much safer about leaving my awning out on a windy day. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, if you have your awning out without something like this tying it down, man, that thing just blows all over the place and it feels like it's gonna shred right off of the RV. So this is the best way to hold it down. Now it does give you some protection from rain. When the wind is blowing and the rain is coming out, it really does reduce the rain coming through the screen and protect some of the stuff. You may have your chairs out here and your tables and stuff like that. I don't get that because I figure the rain's going to go right through the screen. But he's the brains of the operation. So if he says it helps, <laughs> it helps. But I can't remember you said that. <laughs> I'm the brains of the operation. I like that. We're going to cut that part out. <laughs> now, this is actually the second time we've installed this because the first time we did it was um, when we were over in Chiefland and Larry was not quite up to where he is today. So yeah, I don't even remember. Yeah, he doesn't even remember. That's I'm a complete the one, blank. Yeah, I'm the one that climbed up on the roof of the truck and I fed, you know, the, the string in through to get to get the I awning I can't in. believe I let you do that. You're sitting on top of I, the cab. Yeah, we have a picture and video yeah, of that. of doing that. I mean, I wasn't thinking right. I wouldn't, so, I wouldn't normally would let you do that. Yeah, I'm not the DIY guy. So obviously, if I can climb on the roof and feed it through and install it, y'all can do it too. And of course, we showed you how easy it is to zip it up. Storm comes, you unzip it, lay it on the ground. It's so easy. The, uh, it would be a big advantage if you have an A-frame type ladder <laughs> to be able to uh, access this instead of using your truck. Uh, you can't use an extension type ladder because if you lean it against the awning, it yeah. moves. Yeah. So uh, for safety, find a neighbor that's got an A-frame ladder. We tried, but nobody around us had one. So. In other words, this is one time we're going to say, don't do it exactly the way yeah. we did it. Yeah, but you can use your truck. I mean, we used the truck and we got these trees in here and we made it work. But uh, A-frame ladder is the way to go. Yes, it was a little sketchy. Okay, well, the first thing you got to do is you have to measure the awning. You have to measure the height of the awning, knowing how much material you want to hang down. And then you have to measure the length of the awning. And measuring the length is pretty easy. You just basically go down and... Um, use a ruler and measure from end to end. Ours is, was uh, 
16 feet and the awning that we're actually using is 15 feet. So you want to use one that's obviously shorter than your awning, but basically go up the top of your awning and just measure it out. Now, as far as the height goes, we went from here and our height from the top to the bottom is nine feet. The heights come in seven foot, eight foot, and nine foot lengths. The bottom panel is six feet for all of them. So the seven foot panel has a one foot height at the top. The eight foot has a two foot length and the nine foot has a three foot length. We're using a 15 foot wide easy blocker that is nine feet tall with a three foot top panel and a six foot bottom panel. Okay, now that you have the length of the easy blocker and the height that you want, you can go to the Carefree of Colorado website. There's a link in the description. It'll take you right to the easy blocker page and you just scroll down and it'll have all the different um, heights and stuff that you want. So you can just click here to learn more. It'll have all your sites. It'll also have a link to an installation um, manual to help you out while you're, um, you know, installing your easy blocker. Now, once you click your size here, you pick your size and you hit continue it'll tell you how much it is so if you buy it directly from carefree of colorado 271 dollars we didn't do that we went to amazon it was 185 dollars it doesn't come with the stakes or a little carrying case but uh, you save almost a hundred dollars so it's worth it just to get it from amazon they have all the different sizes that you need here so that's probably the best place for you to buy it is on amazon now, if you buy your easy blocker from Amazon, the other thing you're going to need are some uh, tie down stakes right here. So um, we actually use rubber bungees instead of the spring system, but this beach line system looks pretty good. It has everything you need in one kit. You don't have to buy the extra bungees. Um, I think it's pretty interesting with this the kit right here. It's only 26 bucks, so you need uh, something to tie it down. You're also going to need a step ladder to do this safely, either a six or maybe an eight foot step ladder. We didn't have a step ladder like this. All we have is an extension ladder. You can see there at the back of the RV. So we actually just back the truck in um, and use the truck as a standing platform to work on uh, inserting the easy blocker into the awning tube. Now they are up high enough to be able to see the awning tube and the slot that's in the awning tube the awning tube has three slots it has a slot for the awning itself it has a slot here for an accessory like an easy blocker and then there's a third slot ours has a third slot that has a light strip in it we're going to be using this slot right here Okay, the tricky part is now you have to rotate the awning arm using the controls so that the slot that you want to put the easy blocker into lines up with the notch in the housing on the right. Otherwise, you won't be able to slide the uh, easy blocker in. Now that you have the awning arm aligned correctly so you can access the slot, now you're going to put the top section of the easy blocker in using the polycord to feed into the slot first and then slide the rest of the top section of the easy blocker onto the uh, awning arm all the way down and just keep feeding it down it might catch once in a while but just keep feeding it down until it goes all the way you should be able to do it all from this end of the uh, awning arm now that you have the top section of the easy blocker inserted into the awning tube you want to make sure that you have approximately the same distance uh, between the easy blocker and the housing arms at each side um, so that it's right in the middle and then you're going to place your velcro tabs just uh, you know press the velcro onto the strip uh, remove the adhesive and and then stick it onto the awning tube i made sure that i cleaned it off with alcohol before i got started I'm attaching the Velcro tab on the other side, cleaning with alcohol really well before I get started. And you can see I've got approximately the same distance between the easy blocker and the end of the housing arm. Uh, again, just attach the piece of Velcro and line it up, pull off the adhesive strip, and then stick it on. Make sure after you stick it on, you press it down really firmly. Uh, our first tabs came off because they just weren't stuck on really well. 
Next step is to attach the bottom six foot section to the upper section at Easy Blocker with the zipper. Just uh, start the zipper and then start pulling it along. It's pretty tall here. Alice is only uh, five six, and this is uh, over six feet tall. She's she's able to do it. Um, we have a rope attached to the zipper to try to make it a little bit easier um, for both zipping and unzipping quickly. But you just pull it along. It may snag uh, a couple of times here and there, but just pull it all the way to the end. So I got to set the stake the approximate distance. So I'm going to be using a bungee bundle uh, hooked over like this. So I know the approximate distance I want it to be. I want it to be like right here. So I'm going to I've put this in here before, so it's going in pretty easy. Put that in there like that. Now I just take my hook underneath. And I probably did a little tight. I'm going to back it up a little bit. <laughs> but we want it tight. We want it snug, for sure. And there now it's good, nice and solid. Okay, we're putting in the other stake right now. I got it screwed in the ground. This time I just have my bungee. I got this little foamy on here because I kept tripping over it and that keeps that nice and tight feels good okay big storms coming let me show you how quickly you can undo this super winds are coming we just have to unclip and then we go after you unzip it you just retract your awning like you normally would the top section of the easy blocker just rolls up with the rest of your awning like your awning would normally roll up. It's only, uh, ours is only three foot section, so it doesn't really affect uh, the awning that much. Uh, but you want to make sure that you don't roll up the entire easy blocker into your awning or it could damage it. Now detach the bungee from the awning stake and the easy blocker and put the easy blocker away. We don't do a lot of product review videos. But this is one that we really believe in. Um, I have been asking for it for a while and I'm so glad we got it. And I don't want other people to hesitate buying one like this. And we're not saying buy this specific brand, you have to buy the brand that matches your RV. But we just wanted to show you that this, this is a product we've been using for a couple months and it has gone through wind and rain and, and we really like this product. And um, the other thing is, we haven't been doing a lot of DIY type videos because Larry was sick for a couple months and we're just letting you know, you know, we're getting back in our we're groove. We're getting back in the groove. Yeah, this, this is a product, I, I mean, I really didn't want to make this video because it was, it's like 95 degrees out yes, today. But not under here. But I really <laughs> believed in this product and I thought this is a really good product to show. I think this is one of the top things that we've added to the RV, I'd say this is right there at the top. So this is why we made this video because, you know, if you got a fifth wheel or an RV with an awning like this, you got to have one of these things because it really, really helps. And it's not that expensive. Yeah, it was $180. You know, that's reasonable. Yeah. Do you have one of these Easy Blocker awnings or another brand that's like it? Please share your experience in the comments that so other people can benefit from them. And you can also, as always, leave your comments on our Instagram or Facebook. Now, I'm going to leave a live video right over here for you to check out next. And remember, downsizing still makes sense.